Oh my god, how to hit first, guys. <laughs> a powder is a powder. Hello, sweaties. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we are going to be doing the full face using only one palette. I've been, I've seen this challenge going around and I hope you guys liked my last video. Um, make sure to tweet it at Thomas Halber because you know, we want him to see it. Before we get into the video, please make sure you are subscribed. Go leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the look. Obviously at the end, once you've done watching. So leave me a thumbs up, share the video, click the little bell, whatever. I don't really know if that works or what it do. But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling and we gonna get into this video. Okay, so full face using only one palette challenge. Um, okay, so the palette that I'm going to be using is this uh, Makeup Revolution Pro HD uh, 35 Amplified Palette. Um, it is, what, uh, it's the Dynamic one. I got it whilst I was in London and it looks like this. Kind of a dupe for um, Morphe. Like, they have a whole bunch that are like this and Makeup Revolution are kind of known for making sort of cheaper versions of things and even though morphe is cheap i think they're they're probably the same price but these i guess are more accessible than morphe because like in the uk other than anywhere other than america by the way you can't go and you can't swatch things so a lot of people don't know how they perform i don't have any morphe eyeshadow palettes because i'm never going to be able to buy something that i haven't tested out first <laughs> so yeah this is just like i like the whole story i've got like a white in here um i was going to review this palette um let me know if you want me to do that because i do have some thoughts and whatever about this palette um but i won't be sharing them in here but yeah this is kind of just like a purple marvy um they got some browns in here sort of a tone so i will be able to like i feel like i'm gonna like i chose this palette because there's a lot in here <laughs> All of my other palettes don't really have this much going on and yeah, I just want to feature it in a video. Let's zoom you guys in. Now that you're all zoomed in, let's get started on the eyes. So I am just going to prep them real quick. Just using some LA Gal Pro Conceal to act as sort of like a eyeshadow base, I guess. And we are just going to slather that all over. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to go grab a beauty blender. I am just going to spray that real quick. Just to moisten it up. If you are looking for a good sponge, honestly, the Real Technique sponges are probably the closest thing you will ever get to a beauty blender. The softness is really nice and they are fairly cheap. The first I'm gonna go in with this white shade right here just to set the set the eye. Well I'm just gonna put that like up here because I know it's very trendy right now to put it all over the lid but you don't really want to do that. The only reason like people do do this is because when you're blending eyeshadow you want it to blend out and like, if you're putting it, like, here, sometimes, like, your shadows can blend out a little too much in that area. So, what I like to do, I only, I like to just put, like, that light colour, like, right where I know I'm going to be blending and buffing the shadow out. I think I'm just going to do, like, a regular, like, purpley look, just because I've been doing a lot of, like, the browns and stuff. So, I am just going to start off with this color right here these do have names but i don't have um i don't have like the little like thing that says them on so fine um yeah we'll just... okay and now i'm just gonna go into the color right below that just to deepen that up and add a bit more dimension. You always want to have like 
minimum two transition colors because that way it just makes everything look more blown out and blended. Oh, bitch. Why is that crease so fucking good though? Why is that? Look at that blend. Look at that blend. Look at that blend. Ugh. If there's one thing a bitch knows how to do, that is. And now I'm gonna go in with this sort of like darker purple color just to start the purple color story that I'm wanting. And we're just gonna be placing this sort of like on the like like the outer half of the eye. We're not gonna like take this all over. We're just gonna keep it right here. But that's another little tip. Okay, and now we're gonna go in with this black. We just wanna focus that black right there. Don't worry, we will be blending that out, just not with this brush. Okay, and now we're gonna go back in with that other blending brush and we are going to buff that black up. Okay, I went a little too ham with the black on this eye, so now I have to like fucking match them up. Honestly, eyeshadow is a process. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the lid is I'm actually gonna use this, um, that like light lilac y shade. We're just gonna. Oh, yeah. I think like mauves are like the literal best transition colors because they work on every skin tone. Sometimes you can't find that shade of like brown that you're looking for. And honestly, I hate like. Ugh. Part of me, like, sometimes I'm just, like, over orange creases. Of course, we're gonna do a little highlight. We're gonna be using this uh, shimmery shade right here. Yellowy. And let's just go ahead and, like, highlight the brow with that. The brow bone with that. Let's take a makeup wipe. And we are just gonna... Snatch the cat back. Now this is a gr like this is what you used to do when I first got into makeup. That way you end up having something that looks very even. Right, I'm gonna do my base off camera and then I will be back to finish the look. So <clears throat> now that I've done the base, let's move on to powder. And we are going to be using this guy for powder today. <laughs> Girl, my powder brush ain't fitting in here, so we just gonna use this brush just because I don't have anything. Just gonna powder that concealer. Okay, and now for like a contour and blush. Now there is like some pretty grey tones and like I feel like there's a blush in here somewhere. Maybe like maybe these two combined. Oh no, let's do blush first. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take this and we're gonna try and like fit it into this little pan. We just go I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this shade right here to contour. Pray for me gals. Okay, I mean it's not terrible. That's actually pretty. It's that good, like, like, I'm sorry, like, honey, if you're, like, contouring, if you've got, like, the slope bit of orange or warmth, that ain't your contour. You're bronzing. So, you're not a chiseled, chiseled skinny legend. You're just a bronzed babe. And honestly, like, who wants to be bronzed these days? Like, I am so over, like, pale-ass people trying to fucking contour their way into another race. Like, can we not just be pale and beautiful, please? Thank you. Um, now let's do some highlighting. I'm gonna go in with this, like, frosty, shimmery shade right here. And then for lips. Um, do I have to use, like, something from here? I mean, I guess I can. I'll do like the whole like lipstick, lip gloss trick, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, for lipstick, I'm just gonna do my whole like little lip gloss trick that I do. So I'm just gonna apply some lip gloss. And then once you've done that, you just 
dip into an eyeshadow, preferably a shimmer because they come out better. And then... Okay, and that is the final look. Oh god, what a journey this has been. This is my official full face using only one eyeshadow palette. What a mess. Um, I do like the lip. It's giving me, it's giving me like Jeffree Star Restraint um, tea, which basically is a new lipstick he has coming out. Let me know how you think I did in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, before you leave, if you got this far, make sure to subscribe, please. It does really help out the channel. Um, I currently am trying to reach 1,000, but anyway, whatever, guys. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.